Well, obviously, uh, Luke is in a much darker place now. He wants the Jedi to end. Believe me, I'm as shocked to have read that as you will be to see it. This film is, I think, more challenging and has more depth. It's uh, more cerebral. It's also very funny in part. It's probably my favorite one since Empire Strikes Back. Well, The Force Awakens was probably the most elaborate entrance I'll ever get because everybody's talking about me for two hours and then I only have to show up for 30 seconds. <laughs> so I didn't have a lot of the pressure that I have on this one. Coming back to the role was a gift because I never expected it to happen. Realize how passionate people still are after all these years is so gratifying. I love the fans. If it weren't for them, I wouldn't be talking to you. So thank you. It was very ambiguous. I like the idea of having a cliffhanger on an actual cliff. That was a visual pun I enjoyed. Um, I was shocked at how little I had to do. Came to really love it because I could enjoy all the excitement and the fun. But fingers crossed, I think people are going to really enjoy this film. Well, they changed my diet. I call it the if it tastes good, don't eat it diet. So no more ice cream and no more candy. It, it changes your taste buds in a way. Green juice actually started to taste good after six months. Boy, I mean, I lost like almost 50 pounds. Well, uh, there's certainly big surprises. This one is, a, I think, one of the more challenging, eccentric, funny Star Wars movies. It's the middle chapter, so each character faces challenges that they never would have expected. The second chapter is my favorite because anything can happen you have one more chapter to wrap it all up. So here, all bets are off, and that's kind of exciting, and I still can't believe it. It's so worldwide, and the fact that people have taken it into their hearts and part of the fabric of their lives. They tell stories about getting through tough times or a parent's illness or meeting their future spouse, you know, having children and naming them Luke and Leia. It's just, are you kidding me? But to be a part of something that brings so much happiness is just a gift. I thought, this is the most elaborate entrance of my career. <laughs> and when I read the script, I was stunned. It's just wonderful to be associated with something that makes people so happy. Escapism. People want to get away from real life. I think it's just mind-bogglingly complex, challenging, hilarious, suspenseful, dark and somber. The most shocking thing I read was it's time for the Jedi to end. Darkest things happen. I mean, there's triumphs, of course, but more than its share of tragedies. Basically, we fail. Even though this is a fantasy, you try and find something that you can relate to in life. The world is worse than it's ever been. This is why these movies are so popular. Real life is so horrible. Harsh reality is so draining on the human psyche. You need to go to a safe place like a galaxy far, far away.